What is the chromaticism and how does it work? Let's discover it together today in this video thanks to Walter. Observation. Every man his own university. There is no book, manual or teacher that can replace the great skill of observation. Through the power of observation we can learn directly from the musical terrain. Thanks to observation we can go in search of those details that only those who are determined to observe can find. Russell Conwell, my great teacher and inspired, taught me through his extraordinary book Observation, Every Man, His Own University, how each of us has within us the greatest university in the world, which is not made up of books, teachers or exams, but from the so simple and so neglected ability of observation. For this reason, following the example of Russell and in honor of him, for this video I want to share with you my musical observations and what we can learn from each composition. In this video, in fact, we analyze the composition, note the most significant aspects and break it down into details. Then you can download the PDF with the notes, analysis and indications from the link you find in the description of the related post on Patreon. Thanks to your small but very precious contribution, you can have the access to exclusive content such as manly PDFs and videos of improvisation elements. Also, you will have me create several videos like this for you, which are helpful for many musicians from all over the world, especially for those who are new to this magnificent art. So, prepare your observation well and drive with me in this video to find out what we can learn from. Ach Gott, to dich erbarmen. I don't speak German, so if there is someone watching me from the Deutschland, tell me if the pronunciation is right. But as you can see in this composition, we have a lot of chromaticism. chromaticism. So you can see a lot of passages that are chromatic. So today I want to show you what exactly is the chromaticism in the ancient, in the ancient, con 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 in the ancient theory and how today we can use it. And actually, the chromaticism is the changing from fa to mi or to mi into a fa or a single note. First of all, before talking about what chromaticism is and how it works, let's listen to this beautiful composition, Choral by Walter.
perfect. As you know, or if you don't know, the chromaticism is the changing on a letter and note from fa to mi ascending or from mi to fa. Let's see some examples. For example, let's start with reading the first bars with solmization. This melody, the middle voice, because we have, first of all, the chorale in the upper melody. And then we have the counterpoint between, among the other melodies. So, here we have Fa, Mi, Mi because of the sharp, because Mi equal sharp equal Mi, and Mi equal sharp. Then we have Fa and Mi. Fa, Mi, Fa, Mi. And then again another semitone. Mi, Fa, Mi, Fa. So when we have the Fa and the Mi together on the same note, like in this case, F and F, F, Mi, F, Fa, we have the chromatic semitone. But <coughs> when we have Fa and Mi on two different notes or letters, according to the solmization system, of the, according to the Renaissance musical theory, for example, in this point, Fa, Mi, we have the diatonic semitone. Fa, mi, fa, mi. And now let's read the lower voice here. We have Fa, Mi, and then we have Fa and Mi. Look at this particular element. Fa, mi, fa. Here we have Fa with Fa. Fa and Fa. Here we have Mi and Mi. And they are consonances. But when we have a Fa against a Mi, for example in this point, and then the inversion, that is the resolution, we have a dissonance. This is what the old masters used to say, to call um, Mi against Fa Diabolus in Musica Est, because when we have a Mi against a Fa, like in this point, we have a dissonance. And then its resolution. Mi Fa Sol, according to the Renaissance solmization. Now, let's see other examples. We have another chromatic chromaticism here in the bass. So, mi fa, 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 and also in the tenor, mi fa, mi fa. We have mi against me, fa against fa, me against me, and fa against fa. Consonances. Mi, mi, fa, mi, fa. As you can see. Now, let's go, for example, this point. Here. We have me, fa, me, fa, me, Fa. Mi. Mi fa. That becomes mi. Or actually mi la for the clausula basisans. Mi la. Mi fa. Mi fa. Mi fa. In this case, we don't have. We have. Mi against me, fa against fa, me against me, so we don't have dissonances. 
the same thing happens in this point. But let's see what's happening here. We have fa, mi, fa, mi, then mi because we are going on to a fa. And in the other voice, in the counter melody, we have fa, mi, fa, and then mi. This mi against fa is a dissonance, diabolus, in musica. The same. Now, let's find other passages. For example, here we have parallel thirds, mi, both cases, mi, fa, then again, mi, fa, mi, here, mi, fa, and then again, mi, fa, mi, And be careful to this point. Pay attention. We have mi, fa, mi, fa, mi, and fa. Then we have mi, okay, fa, and yes, actually this is not a mi. Uh, we have here a fa, sorry, because we don't have the sharp here. But imagine this. Fa. In this case, we don't have dissonance because the two voices are going in the same direction, in parallel motion. Then, Mi, Fa, okay. And here we have what could be a Fa. if we have here the F sharp, so a semitone. Imagine to have here a semitone. We have Mi against Fa. So, in this case, we have Fa, Mi. But because the semitone is not in this position, in, in this point, we have Sol, Fa, because the underlying Mi is here. But if we imagine the sharp in this succession of semitones, here we have another mi against fa, because this can't be a mi, because it's the upper, it can be the upper, the higher part of a semitone. Fa, mi. Now, let's go on in this, in this composition. don't have other semitones. Now let's play this composition from the beginning to this point with this awareness now at this point. How many musical notes are there? Six. Ut, re, mi, fa, sol, la. C is a later invention. Up until the end of the 18th century music was read this way. Bach, Haydn, Handel, Mozart, Vivaldi, Corelli, all of them read music this way. And what about you? The system is called solmization. Have you ever heard about it? Go to this page and learn more about how solmization works.
you can see, also in this point, we have me. Me. Again, me with fa. Fa. And in the alto, in the alto voice, fa. Fa. Sol. Fa. Mi. This way. And now, another chromatic passage. Let's see it. This me with this fa and this is a dissonance diminished seven diminished seven and we have a fa against a me this point two so we have two me against fa at the same time because the parallel thirds going with parallel motions so with consonances fa with fa me with me, fa with fa, me with me, with a long fa in the upper voice, in the top voice, when we have me and me in the two lower voices, we have a dissonance, as we can see in this passage. Fa, mi, fa, mi, fa. And the same happens here. Diatonic the, the semitone, so me, fa, Diatonic ascending semitone against against diatonic descending semitone, so fa and mi. What does it mean? Fa against mi, diabolus in musica, so dissonance. If you think the music read, especially with chromaticism, especially chromatic music, with the old system of solmization, so the solmization with six syllables. Six, three hexachords, seven letters, and the great scale is easier to see, to understand all these elements, to recognize them, and then to apply them in our compositions and improvisations. So, for this, I suggest all, all people who, is, who study music to learn solmization with the old system, because the movable law is is good but it is a little bit different because you have two kinds of semitones. You have mi fa and ti do, but with the ancient system, you have only one possibility for the, for the semitone, only one, mi fa or fa mi. And the chromaticism is the, pe the passage on the same letter, in this case, for example, hmm, here, the letter C, from mi to fa, or ascending from fa to mi. C, Fa, Si, Mi, or Si, Mi, Si, Fa. And that's all. All is more simple, much more simple. Then Fa, Mi, then Fa, Fa, Mi, Mi, Fa, Fa. Then again. Look what's happening here. Here we have a Fa. Because fa mi, the semitone is here, and here we have mi fa, mi fa. What's happening? Dissonance, diminished fourth. Mi fa. So the same, the same, exactly the same. This point. Okay, the same here we have uh, me, and here what is a fa if we have a semitone here, but in this case it's a sol because we don't have the semitone, but it works in the same way. In the major mode is fa me, in the minor mode is sol fa. But the com the context the context is the same. Only there is a mutatio toni, as I explained to you before in the same passage in the previous example. Now, let's go to the end with this composition. So, okay, chromaticism here, mi fa, mi fa. The same happens here. Here, 
ascending chromatic scale, mimi, fa fa, mimi. The same here, fa fa, mimi. Remember that in the um, Renaissance music theory, the natural scene is actually the sharps. They can the natural scene comes from the sharp because we, in the Renaissance music theory, as I explained in my course of stonization, we have the B molle, molle or tondo round because of its form and the B durum or quadro square because of its form. The sharp and the natural scene comes from the same scene, the B durum, this way. We have Re, Mi, Re, Mi, Fa, and here a Fa. So Mi against Fa, and then. So dissonance, as you can see, we have an augmented fourth, augmented fourth here. Here we have another descending chromatic scale. Sol, Fa, Mi, and Fa, Mi, Fa. Here, Fa against Mi, Diabolus in Musica Est. Mi contra Fa, Diabolus in Musica Est. And in this way, we have been analyzing a composition with a different point of view than what today we usually do if we don't know solmization. And this is why it's so important to know the solmization with the three hexachords. So, Utre Mi Fa Sol La with seven letters from A, starting on gamma, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and on the great scale, so the union between the six syllables, the hexachord, and the seven letters. How many musical notes are there? Six. Ut, re, mi, fa, sol, la. C is a later invention. Up until the end of the 18th century, music was read this way. Bach, Haydn, Handel, Mozart, Vivaldi, Corelli, all of them read music this way. And what about you? The system is called solmization. Have you ever heard about it? Go to this page and learn more about how solmization works.